on, on the load on Puakani. <laughs> I have not been this excited to attend a car show in a very long time because today I am in the little seaside town of Bangsan attending a custom van car show. This is a very unique car meet that you will probably only see here in the country of Thailand and possibly Japan. Here in this country, these vans are owned by individual people that tend to be tour operators. So they're tour guides and drivers for not only tourists, but locals alike. And because the owners are Thai and they can't leave anything stock, they've modified them with sick wheels, big brake kits, and air ride. And of course, crazy, crazy custom interior builds. Like this guy even has a carbon fiber hood. Like, why do you need a carbon fiber hood on a van? This right here, this black van with the carbon hood is called a Hyas, it's a Toyota Hyas. There's really two types of main, like vans that you're going to see at this meet, and that's the Hyas. And the other one is also a Toyota. It's this one. And this is the Toyota Commuter. Uh, the Hyas is mostly used for like transporting like goods and the Commuter, I, by the way, I really dig the color on this commuter. Is that Skyline Millennium Jade with bronze T37s? That is sick. These are mostly used as people haulers. Like, again, Thai people use these as tour buses to take not just locals, but foreigners, tourists, all around the country of Thailand. This guy on this van, look, oh, Look, the back of it's empty. Can you guys see what's going on here? So what this van is used for, they use this van to haul motorbikes, even an ambulance. Of course you have an ambulance. Hello, Swati Cop. Thank you. Look, he's got fake T-37s on his ambulance. They drag race ambulances in this country. I'm not even joking. And the reason they drag race ambulances is because ambulances are also privately owned here. And once again, because they're privately owned by a Thai person, they can't leave anything stock. But yeah, what I was talking about with this van was the titanium bracing back here. But you can tell in the back, they use that van to haul motorcycles. So it's got a rack in the back to haul an actual big bike, like a motorcycle. And look at this guy's Harley. It's custom titanium header work. And then he's got Olin's Brembo brake kit. The wheels are powder coated green. Can you imagine how much this custom titanium exhaust would cost in the US? Nice, dude. You'll notice almost all of them have T37s and big brake kits. T37, big brake kit. And they're painted as well. Like this, this, this is not a wrap. This is paint, not a wrap. Same with this. And he has this wild, look at this like carbon hood. It's like, I don't even know what's going on there, but this thing is pretty sweet. Search and rescue. How cool is that thing? And you'll notice it does have a front mount intercooler because these vans are turbo. They're turbo diesel. Nice. One of the vans, I just saw this van, I really, really dig this Hyas. Hyas or Hyas, I'm not sure. But I love the color combo on it with the gold Volks. Man, this thing is sweet. And you know, these vans like this have been popular for a long time, like either lowered or on air ride. But a new trend in the van scene here in Thailand is stuff like this. People are taking these Hyases and they're putting off-road tires on them and then they're actually lifting them and turning them into like a like van life type of stuff this guy's got his hood popped let's see what's going on oh my god yeah he's got a gritty turbo on here wow dude this thing is like carbon fiber stuff everywhere custom piping but like I said, these vans are turbo diesels. They use the same engine that is in the Toyota Hilux. When I was just telling you about the vans that are totally set up for camping, look at this. Hello. They have like a full canopy. Everything you need to go camping. The standard wheel of all Thai people, the TE37. 
the ambulance crew in the house. Oh my God. I wanna take 60 seconds to thank today's video sponsor, which is NordVPN, because they have a back to school special for you. Four free months on your two year plan by just going to nordvpn.com slash cbmedia or using my coupon code, which is cbmedia at checkout. I've had a ton of people messaging me lately about their plans for Thailand and Southeast Asia later this year. And a VPN is a mandatory tool while you're traveling. If you just wanna live your daily online life internationally, like you do back home. Also, are you doing banking and like general, like investing and stuff without a VPN? This is a recipe for disaster. Not only is a VPN necessary when you travel, but it's also a necessity back home just to keep you safe online. Again, you'll get four free months on your two-year plan by going to nordvpn.com slash cbmedia or using my coupon code, which is cbmedia at checkout. Now, let's get back to the vans. It is a complete row of custom modified ambulances. You see this? It's hood, doors, and I guess you would call this section, the front fender, is all carbon. Again, with the carbon fiber hood and the bronze T37s and a Brembo big brake kit. <laughs> Where else in the world are you gonna see an ambulance on air ride? What? It's an ambulance that has air ride. Unbelievable, dude. Look at his uh, white Volks. Look at this one. It's all like VIP'd out. Mobile ICU, mobile intensive care unit. It's like a VIP van. Dude, look at that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> A disco ball. You have a disco ball. Here's a disco ball in case you get in a car accident and you're trying to get to the hospital. If you want to catch a vibe and put on some music and have a disco ball and just have a party in the back of your ambulance while you're on the way to the hospital, this guy has got you covered. Yeah, I didn't notice this. There's a legit subwoofer mounted underneath that seat chaos love it guys thank you thank you again this thing is ridiculous that thing is ridiculous he wants to show me something what are we going to see follow the harley guy good guy good guy Oh, glide. Okay. Oh, it's automatic. It pulls your bike into the van. I just noticed that this van next to the one I was just looking at, um, yeah, all of his stuff is carbon as well. And he also has weld racing wheels. Hello. Good to see you again. I met him in Bangkok Drag Avenue, Clone 5. Yeah. And also met him on John T.M. Beach. He had his van parked on John T.M. Beach. <laughs> Looking good, bro. I love his van because I just really dig the color combo. Nice. Again with the air ride. But like I said, I really dig this van because I love the combo of the magnesium blue T37s. And I just love the color of this van. And this, again, is not a wrap. This is actual paint. You can see that's it's it's paint. It's like super metallic. Hear the turbo? Nice. By the way, check out this highest behind me. They made a custom wide body kit that almost makes it look like a pandem. I know pandem does not make a wide body kit for one of these vans, but uh it looks like they just made their own and it is pretty freaking sweet porsche porsche brakes nice carbon fiber door carbon fiber hood front mount intercooler these vans are so freaking cool i'll take this car meet over a bunch of 
R35 GTRs any day. The problem, as you can see, is really just parking because this is a public parking lot and Bang San is a super, super popular tourist destination for Thai people that live in Bangkok. Commuter, white commuter on the bronze C28s, red endless brake kit. This one is nice as well. Look at him, put him to work, son. Good job, kid. Do mine next. My Evo next, okay? Do my Evo next. Okay, thank you. This is one of those vans that I was telling you about earlier, how this has become super popular here as far as like the, the off-road uh, van life. Um, what do you call it? What is the, the cool word that people use? Um, overlanding. It's the overlanding craze. It has officially landed here in Thailand. And these vans are the van of choice. And one of the reasons for this is they're incredibly cheap, four wheel drive, turbo diesel vans. You can pick one of these up for about 10 to 15,000 US dollars, depending on the kilometers and the condition. And then to do it up like this, another, you know, maybe five or six thousand dollars. Welcome to the weirdness that is Thailand. You have modified Hondas, pink vans, you have three people on a motorbike, and you have like a fucking, fucking 720S McLaren on HRE wheels. Like, please remember that there is a 300% import duty tax on cars like this here in Thailand. So this thing here, is millions and millions of dollars and holy crap the color spec is perfect that thing is sick so you're obviously seeing a lot of these hiases but this is the previous generation highest and this guy has like modified this one in like a super super jdm style which is which is pretty cool because i know these vans in particular are very popular in japan